السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ورلڈ جیوگرافی وتھ محمد عدنان ٹوڈے ٹوٹوریل از ریلیٹڈ ٹو کنورٹ ڈی این ویڈیو راسٹر امیج ٹو ٹاپ آف ایٹماسفیرک کریکشن ون وی کین اپلائی اٹ آن دا لینڈ سیڈ ایٹ امیج ڈیٹا ہیئر یو کین سی دا ڈفرینس بٹوین دا ڈی این ویڈیو امیج اینڈ دا ٹاپ آف ایٹماسفیرک کریکٹڈ ون As you can see, I am not zooming, but you can uh, justify it, how much is it clear and how much it, it is blur. So this is the, some uh, uh, restriction uh, when we directly used uh, the DN. The DN image is that which we get uh, after downloading the data of satellite from UHS or any other site. So the dead raster image is called DN value. And if we apply on it a formula and uh, perform it by the raster calculator, so that one we uh, correct it. So we uh, get it from this kind. I'm zooming it to showing the difference between this one. In fact, I'm uh, done it, so I'm showing it to you by uh, here. Here is the image. As you can see, the data we get by extracting of the file which we get from the USGS site. So it's called like that. So in it, uh, as you can see, the band of SAM and the SAM format, TIFF and TIFF. But you can see the value and uh, image classification is very different from the DN to uh, TO. The TOA is uh, very preciously used in the land use, land cover and other classification because it have a good resolution as compared to other one. As you can see, it's a little blur and it's not good for analyzing work. So, uh, I, so in the today uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get uh, this image by RGIS and you can get it uh, through the QGIS you know, by using the SCP uh, plugin. So, I'm also make uh, a video on it. So I will be share its uh, link in the description so you will get it uh, from there easily. So now I am going to show you how how can we make uh, its atmospheric correction by using RGIS. So here we have a data. So these files are called DN value because we get it by extracting this kind of uh, zip file. So these values have no atmospheric correction. Okay, so we going to its atmospheric correction with the help of its uh, uh, the MTL file. Where is it? This one. So we use this one. Here is a uh, metadata of it. So this metadata will be most necessarily for you uh, to performing this uh, work. So let's start it. Uh, I'm doing uh, it on RGS of the same this file okay this is the DN value of our area now I open the raster calculator so the raster calculator is coming here in the search tool now we open it here is a very simple formula I showing you the formula of that uh, we have formula uh, in the uh, zip file of that no in the word file yeah here you can see uh, it's little blur but I'm going to showing you this one okay you concentrate on this one uh, I'm focusing yes little zoom in so here is the TO reflectance is equal to band specific refractive index of multi band. Here is a multi band refractive index you will get it from the your uh, what your uh, metadata file. I'm going showing you which band you use you can use of its refractive index uh, rather than other one. As you can see here I get the refractive the reflectiveness multi band. So this value we can use. Okay. Uh, and here also mention for which band you can use so here is the band of this uh, here is in exponential minus 5 it's mean the point lies 
to the left side of the two one okay so this value we can use in our formula as you can see band specific refractance multiband value then dn value. what is the dn value dn value is a very simple uh, the dn value uh, we keep that band which we want to reflect uh, which we want to atmospheric correction that band we will be used in it so it's little stuck but it's okay i can skip it okay so here our uh, raster calculator open now i going to show you again the formula here is a specific refractive bands multi band value so here we have the multi band value for the band this one the band one and we also use this value of the band edit one okay but first we keep this one of a for band uh, four of the let set add data here is a x2 exponential that minus 5 so it's mean uh, the four uh, five times uh, point will be going to the left side of the two so we put the values in it and then we're going to uh, showing you how can we do it we get the bracket and we keep here the uh, value uh, uh, what's the value value is that 0. Point, uh, zero, zero. Mm, how much time the four time here we keep four time of hits and now we keep the two okay then what we do it we do it uh, multiply of it to that one bracket close uh, static sign then we get this this value is called uh, uh, dn value okay the band because it's not correctly uh, atmospherically so uh, we now get the sign of this uh, plus okay we first multiply it or uh, then we going to plus sign okay plus with the uh, add band one its value is I'm going to showing you add band reflectives add band of the four is a um, it is in the negative okay so it is in the negative we keep also it in negative as you can see it it is in the negative one so okay no problem we keep it in the negative one this thing you need to highlight or minus zero point one zero 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 and zero five times zeros okay yeah one two three four five okay now we close the bracket and give it to the output part its output path must be there uh, we give it here okay we keep it the name band four d o a okay we save it so now we just okay it it will be performed it's take time so i little escape it so viewers as you can see we get the data and we get the values with uh, atmospherically corrected as you can see this one is over atmospheric corrected and this is over simple dn value so i hope you will uh, understand and like it for more informative videos you need to subscribe our channel thanks for watching